Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. This is day two of my book miss series. And in today's video, we are going to be doing a Christmas Carol book tag. So let's go ahead and start with the questions. Question one, The Ghosts of Christmas Past, a book that was a childhood favorite. Oh, I don't have any of them on my shelf, oh no. Um, that would definitely be Heartland, but I don't have them on my shelf right now for some reason. So, but those, I will insert it here. Heartland. Um, and number two, The Ghosts of Christmas Present, a recent book that you think will become one of your all-time favorites. Again, don't have a physical copy so I'm going to pull it up on my Kindle real quick because I feel like everybody needs to read this it's just incredible see if I can find it no that's not what I want bear with me for a moment there we go oh it's not what I wanted Okay, well, I'll just show you this. It is, if you can see it, Thorn Hedge. I just think everybody should read it because it's really good. So that one will definitely be a favorite of the year for me. Number three, The Ghost of Christmas Yet to Come, a book coming out next year that you're most excited about. I can't say next year because I haven't looked at a lot of books that are coming out yet next year. But I will say, I don't have a physical copy of this one yet, but one that came out later this year was A Curse for True Love by Stephanie Garber. That one I'm very excited about. I cannot wait to read it, so that's the one I'll say. Um, number four, Bah Humbug. A book that everyone else loves that you just can't stand. Well, I can't say that everyone loves this, but I will say it's a controversial one. Anything by Colleen Hoover. If you've seen my video um, books I will never read I go into it there on Colleen Hoover but I can make an entire video about why to not read Colleen Hoover books just don't do it just don't don't do it please um, number five an old dependable that you always recommend that I always recommend <laughs> that I always recommend would have to be say with me beastly I'm always going to recommend it always um number six tiny tim an underhyped book that you think deserves more love that deserves more love A Little in Love by Susan E. Fletcher. Read it. Read it. Like, just read it. Please. I'm begging you. It's so good. It's so good. It's so sad. It's heartbreaking, but it's really good. So, I will recommend that one always. Okay. Number seven. Today, why it's Christmas Day. What's a book that you always get, that always gets you in the mood for Christmas? I don't have one that I read at Christmas time which is crazy to me because I love Christmas but I think I'll probably start reading this one every year at Christmas um, Pumpkin Queen I think that's going to be a new a good option for Christmas time I would say the Frozen book but we all know how I feel about it so let's move on Number eight, Muppet Christmas Carol, your favorite film adap ad adaptation of a book I cannot talk. Um, do, 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 do. My favorite film adaptation of a book will always be the Lord of the Rings movies. And fun fact, I've never read the books, but I prefer to watch, like when it comes to worlds like that, I much prefer to watch the movie than read like a thick, thick book like no no thanks um so definitely those or lying the witch in the wardrobe that movie is amazing 
and lastly it says to tag some people so i will just tag anyone who wants to do this video might be a cop-out answer but you know what i'm fine with it um so yeah anybody that wants to film it feel free to film it i tag you and that's gonna be it for today's video so i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to like comment and subscribe and hit the bell notification so you never miss a video and i'll see you in the next one love you bye